Take back control. Stop letting algorithms decide your news. Get uncensored history and real knowledge to strengthen your mind, body, and spirit. Watch ad-free content now at iNeverKnewTV.com premium. When people mostly speak about epigenetics, they focus on the negative inheritance. Mm, but there's not point. enough conversation about like the positive inheritances. Yeah. And as a man, I know, have you, I obviously you study epigenetics. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so we look at genetics and epigenetics. The Bible says that the sins of the father are passed to the third or fourth generation, right? The sins of the father, right? Why? Because in terms of the DNA, in terms of the whole dynamic, in terms of what the father provides. And then you look at epigenetics. Now they're finding out that epigenetics can be passed forward 13 generations. So the hardware doesn't change in terms of your genetics, but because of the environmental priming, right, then that will influence the person in the body, right? And then that's when you start seeing it. So that's why when our ancestors, some of them may have said, I'm never going to be caught found reading because of the repercussions, right? Because if we had any literacy laws, most black people don't even know that any literacy laws existed, meaning black people were forbidden from being educated and learning how to read, right? Because we always say this, if you don't want black people to know something, put it where? Put it in a book. So on the plantation, three things were happening if you were found caught reading. Number one, you would be shipped off the plantation at a discount. Then you would be labeled a problem, right? You'd be labeled a problem, a slave. Number two, you would be beaten in front of your peers. Now, one thing we know is observational pain is a huge deterrent, right, that we don't want. We, we like, hey, we see somebody, we saw, we saw what happened to you? Nah, that's not going to happen to us, so we stay away. Or number three, you could be hung from a tree. Well, trees produce books and book covers. How ironic is that? So. We make vows. My point is, in the Bible, it says it's better not to make a vow than to make a vow and not fulfill it. A lot of us, our ancestors, have made vows. I think even to this day, some kids who hate reading have a detest for reading. It could have been that vow that their sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth generation grandparents said that has passed forward and then to this day still affecting them. I'm reading a book right now, Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome. It's very controversial, but there's a lot of basis for this. Now the issue is not what it does, but just because someone builds or creates a whole, it doesn't mean we have to fall into it as a community. And that's kind of where we are right now. But I was, I was on the thing and I didn't get invited back, but I was talking about epigenetics and how these things, and I said, look, you're telling me to get over what happened in the past to our ancestors when it's embedded in our DNA. It's in the DNA fire, we can't deny it. Yeah, how, how, can you, how, can you, uh, how can you avoid that? <laughs> now, your choices, but see, you always have the power of choice to change. That's always in your favor. So we can't say we don't have the choice, and that's why when you have the, the, the program that you have here, I Never Knew TV, because you give this information, no one can ever say, I didn't know. No one told me. Because whenever you're giving life transforming information, you're responsible for the instructions that follow. Facts. And in regards to the epigenetics, right? It's funny how um, people will acknowledge the inheritance of certain things. Mm. Yeah. But when it comes to other things now, right. you can't inherit that. Right. That's where it gets tricky. Yeah. That's how I know the thing is real. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Well, yeah. that's why, like, one of the big things that even though the negative side of epigenetics and genetics, you can flip it around in terms of the positive. That's where you start working on your legacy postscript in terms of what you do that your kids don't have to suffer through. So that's why it's so important for me. And then now my kids never knew, even though I sh we take them around, we show them all of our, our, our inner city uh, programs are really geared to our people primarily. And I tell people, look, I care about all people, but I take care of my people first. And I let people know that, right? I don't, I don't sugarcoat things, I tell them how it is, and I think you should be that way. So that way our kids can see and they go in there, and then now they're able to understand what I went through, but how fortunate they are right in terms of that so therefore that's 
where epigenetics is more of in a positive thing. So now they will never have to repeat and go through the same struggles and difficulties, not only that I did, but also my wife who grew up in a very small town south of uh, Columbus, Ohio called Chillicothe, Ohio. Both her parents worked in a factory and they always played it safe. Safe job, secure retirement, and then home ownership. That's what they focused on.